There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge because of all the populous trees which grow there. This is where we're from. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. We're glad you stopped by. In this episode, we'll take you through the process of how we made our shiplap using a chainsaw mill, a Woodland Mills portable sawmill, and a table saw. After we downed the tree and cut the logs to length, we used a chainsaw mill to create several cants, which were left to dry for about a year. We made our own 1x6s from milling trees that came off our own property with our Woodland Mills HM122 portable sawmill, but you could make your own shiplap using this method just using boards that came from your local lumber retailer as well. Since the original cants were made with a chainsaw mill, the edges of these boards were pretty rough. So we used a table saw to clean up those edges. Then we switched the table saw blade from a rip blade to a dado blade. And we dadoed those 1x6s into shiplap. Each board was dadoed twice, once on each side. This process did create a lot of sawdust. And these shiplapped boards fit together pretty well. We were pleasantly surprised. If you have any questions, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com. Or plip plop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll showcase part of our shiplap install process on an interior wall, which has a door pass through it. So we'll show you how we build that out. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate every one of your views. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of our journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll catch you next time. Bye.